A rare sight spotted at USAA today. It was a woman heading up her own IT company. And what's more, she's a minority woman. That encounter, the result of the one year anniversary of USAA's Aspire program, meant to grow technology's workforce with the best of the best. And that does include women. Emily learned even in high school that being a female in the male dominated world of technology is tough. Through the years, I certainly had teachers. I had one in high school who didn't believe girls could code. And I took that as an opportunity to prove him wrong. That she did. In fact, she's been at USAA's innovation division ever since graduation. She admits, though, along the way, it's been lonely. I've been in those classes with 60 where there's two women, and you just, you just learn to hang out with the guys and, <laughs> and work. Gray is the exception, and so is Avis Yates Rivers, the president and CEO of Technology Concepts Group International, here to spread the word of the Red Chair Sit With Me campaign directed at women. Making that connection for girls and women that the work that they can get involved in in designing new technology can help solve big problems. The idea of this program and this red chair is come sit with me, encouraging women to take a seat at the table in IT. It's not for political correctness, but a real need. The U.S. Department of Labor predicts that we're only going to be able to fill about 30 percent of the 1.4 million new technology jobs that U.S. corporations are creating every day. USAA is well aware of that. Through its Aspire program, it's trying to build up its IT talent pool through diversity. What we're trying to accomplish is to ensure that we have the most diverse technical talent pool that we can attract to work here in San Antonio and our new office that's opening up in the Plano area. Now, the Aspire organization at USAA is one year old today. It's grown from 80 employees to 900. As for that red chair sit with me campaign, it's fighting to not only get more women on board in technology jobs, but also to get them to stay in those jobs. For more on why they don't, you can check out this story on KSAT.com.